Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Cummins and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be doing ninjutsu tools for climbing. We're going to be using the Book of Ninja from page 317 and I'm joined today with Joan Mathis who's doing the art for you. Now you can follow Joan on his Instagram account which is on the screen now. So go over to Instagram and follow him and hopefully in the future we'll be doing more videos. Now, the first thing we're going to do is focus on the flying ladder. This is called Tobi Bashi, the flying ladder. And you can see the kanji on the screen now. Now, you'll come across the word Bashi or Hashi many times here and realize originally it means bridge, but it also has the connotations of ladder. In modern Japanese, it's used slightly differently. But of course, we're talking about the Edo period. So let's start with the Tobi Bashi, the flying ladder. Now this is for putting across um, rooftops and different places or just getting up walls as best you can. But what I want to do first is explain to you how the bamboo in these ladders are made. What you don't realise is that they're actually bits of bamboo cut into strips. What they do, the Japanese, even for spear handles or hafts, they actually cut bamboo or wood into sections and put it all together in a type of composite blend to make it stronger. And as you can see, it has the straw wrapping around the ends. This straw wrapping is for padding so it doesn't make noises when you're going up and down the ladder or across the ladder. Remember, it can sometimes be used as a bridge and it's to stop any clinking and clattering sounds. The next one we're going to look at is the Yui Bashi or tied ladder. This again can be made of small sections or cross sections of bamboo all tied together. But of course it's done in pretty much the same way in that it has the straw at either end to stop the noise. Now Fujibayashi Sensei tells us this can either be made really strong and proper or it can be made quickly on the spot by just getting some bamboo. Now these actually do come from Chinese military manuals and the next one we're going to deal with is actually called the Kumo Bashi, the Kumo Bashi, the cloud ladder. Now the reason it's called cloud ladder is because you reach the clouds with it. Now for those geniuses among you, you'll realise that this is actually just the tide ladder and the flying ladder put together. So you double the height of your ladder. So if you've got a small team of shinobi, you can actually put two ladders together. So you've got the stable section at the bottom and the less stable section at the top, and then you can reach higher towards the clouds. This is good for shinobi teams. The next one is Makihashi. Now this is called the rolled ladder. You might know Maki from sushi or makimono, scrolls, it means to roll. So basically, these are very, very common style ladders. They're made of a piece of rope with bamboo around them, but they're about the height of a man who stood up with his hand in the air and the ladder reaches to his wrist. Now remember, Japanese people were about five feet tall, so a hand in the air is probably about six, six and a half feet tall at a guess, and that is the height of these ladders. It's meant to be in relation to your own height. This is the rolled ladder, the makihashi. One really good aspect of this ladder is that you can use two of them and actually climb up a wall by putting them on alternative spikes. So you can literally use two ladders, one person, climb a wall by moving them up by jabbing spikes in, as you can see in the illustration here. Next is the spiked ladder. Now this is called Kagi Hashi, the spiked ladder, the Kagi Hashi. And you can see the small spikes coming off it. Now this is used like a caterpillar moving. You put the spikes in and you into the little holes in walls all the way up the side Japanese castles or fortifications. And you go back down and move the spikes up a bit and then use all the ladder to move up inch by inch, uh, like a caterpillar moving, and you just move the bottom up, then move the top up, move the bottom up, move the top up, and you do it in sections. Bottom, lower section, middle section, higher section, top section. And you keep moving in a, this very strange, insect-like manner. Now, the next one is called the spider ladder. Kumo Bashi. Kumo Bashi. 
Now remember, this is the same as Kumobashi, which is cloud ladder. But here is the kanji for Kumobashi, cloud ladder. And here is the kanji for Kumobashi, spider ladder. It's different, okay? It's different. So even though they sound similar, they are different items. This is basically a pulley system. It's something that you take up to the top with one shinobi and then what you do is you lower down the rope with a hook and you have somebody else at the other end and people can climb up it or you can pass tools up it. It's a sophisticated tool for its time and remember in Japan they didn't have a lot of Western traditions here but they were getting um, information from Western ships. So this is a form of pulley system. Of course, we have the basic Uchikagi, which is a grappling hook. And we all know how the grappling hooks work. So just, uh, you can imagine a shinobi getting over smaller walls. These are not large walls. The grappling hook is used to get over smaller walls and to descend from heights. Fujibayashi says the actual length of the rope attached to this type of hook is about four meters. So that means you could descend from a height of about four meters. So it's not massively high. The next one we have is Mitsukagi, the three pronged grappling hook. Now, as you can see, it's got a small triangular fixture which locks it in place. But the idea is this is a collapsible grappling hook that can be put into position and thrown up but also remember, grappling hooks are not just for throwing up, they're also for descending down. Now the final tool we've got is the Okagi, which is the large hook. Now this is not for throwing, you've got to put this in place. I assume, and it is an assumption, that actually this is put at place at the top of a fixed point over maybe a, a window or an arrow port and that a rope is let down and then from there, people can actually climb up. So once Shinobi goes up using maybe spikes or a ladder, and then he lowers this down for everyone else to start climbing from. But that is an assumption and a guess. But it is called the Okagi, the large hook, and it clearly looks like it goes over a wall or into an arrow port or something like that. Remember, at the time that the ninja were operative, it isn't the classic Japanese castle you're thinking of. Sometimes it's just wooden palisades. So actually, you have to remember that it's not going to the types of castle that you're imagining. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Do get yourself a copy of Book of Ninja and don't forget to follow Joan Mathis on Instagram. We'll see you next time.